Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the 10th, I believe. Is today the 10th? It is. Um, and that means it is day 10 of 30 days of sketches. This is the sketch right here. It's a one photo sketch made by Sarah Davies. I've got my Snoqualmie kit and a photo of Christopher and I. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I am starting out with this background paper. Now, this is from that Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Basics collection, I think. It is one of the things that have been in my Snoqualmie kit. I'm also pulling out some of the strips. So, as you guys know, those strips right there, those scraps would normally go in the bin. Uh, but since I am working within a kit, um, I'm keeping them because they are finding to be really useful. I find that when I work in a kit, I want continuity throughout the project that I'm working on. So that means um, if I have leftover bits and pieces, I am going to keep them uh, because I want to continue that continuity in my project. Now, my Tim Holtz trimmer right here. Saw some chatter online about the Tim Holtz trimmer and how some people were cutting the plastic on their trimmer with their trimmer blade. And I was shocked because I haven't had any issues with my trimmer. Um, I do get paper, um, fibers of the paper in, in that track right there that I do clean out every once in a while. But it is just the fibers of the paper. Um, I haven't had any, you know, issues with mine. I'm still completely in love with mine. Um, I took it on the cruise with me and it worked fabulously on the cruise. It uh, went through my luggage great, like it, everything was just perfect. I am flipping through my stencils and I said to Christopher as I was flipping through the stencils, why did I not make a train stencil before I started this project? And he just looked at me like, I don't know, why didn't you? <sighs> so I need to make that happen. Uh, so goodness. Anyway, this is the falling leaf stencil and I am going to use some Brutus Monroe uh, Chroma Glaze in uh, copper through this stencil. Now I am not going to put this on thick. It is going to go on quite thinly. And as you guys know, half the time I don't clean off my stencils if it's just ink. So there will be some green that transfers from the stencil into the chroma glaze. Um, I'm just using a silicone brush to go ahead and stencil this bad boy up. Like I said, super thin coating on it. Um, I set it aside to dry for a few minutes and then when it was dry, I started scrapbooking, uh, again to finish this layout. But like I said, super thin, super thin, uh, coat. I am going to go wash my stencil and my silicone brush because it is a chroma glaze and I do actually wash it off of there. <laughs> just not when it's ink. So you can see, um, a little bit of the green tinge on the copper from the ink and I'm kind of in love with it. Um, I decide that I need to put a base down here um, with a nice torn edge. So I am going to use my grid mat to place that down. Now, while I was waiting for that draw to dry, I did take that white doily and just put some yellow ink over top of it to kind of distress it and get that bright white color out of there. I also cut down my pieces of paper um, so that I could make all of the strips over here on the left hand side. Again, I'm washi taping the back. You guys know I got to do that because I move my layouts all around all the time uh, before they get into their final place. Um, so now I am going to actually come up with the plan for the layout. Now I toyed with the idea of only having my strips on the leaf part of the paper and not having it go down over top of the brick, but ultimately I decided I liked it on the brick best. I am going to kind of half um, mat the photo there. And then I have this burlap ribbon. It's got pearls on the outside of it and I'm just going to pull the wire out of it uh, super quickly. Um, the wires come out pretty easily, you guys. You just kind of get the wire and yank it out and, and you're good to go. Um, I don't necessarily know if you need to pull the wire out, uh, but I like it without the wire, so I'm going to do that. Um, I do cut that ribbon bit in half uh, because I'm only going to show half of it. I'm only going to see one side of it, so I figured why 
uh, leave the ribbon intact when I'm going to have to use fun foam to cover up the pearly bit so I don't have any ridges in my papers or my photo. And since, um, like I said, I will save it for continuity's sake uh, in the album, I'm not um, you know, worried about it. So I am using two different things to hold this kit. I'm using that Ikea, um, desk organizer that they unfortunately do not sell anymore. And I'm also using, um, a really small knockoff fridge bin. Um, since I got the fridge bins, uh, in my room, um, I've been able to rearrange some things and I have this little guy that I can also use for the tiny little things and then they don't get stuck down there in the bottom of the Ikea holder. This works a lot better plus it's clear so I can kind of see it a little bit better. Now just a few seconds ago my ATG ran out and then my second ATG also was out so I had to uh, put adhesive on both back or not on but um in both of them and the one is down in the drawer next to me and I am using the other one so I decided to use these green tickets as another one of the paper layers over here on the left hand side of the layout and then I decide that I am going to go ahead and use this um, train track over here and double up some of the florals that I've done on other pages. Again, for continuity, I mean, this might be the continuity drinking game video, you guys, because I think I've said it like 12 times. Um, but I'm going to place that over top of these wood veneer train tracks, and then I'm going to create my little cluster over here on the bottom right hand side of the page. Now this layout does not specifically call for a title. Um, there's not a specific place that it suggests that you put it. Um, and I almost don't put a title on this layout you guys, but I felt like the little place was a little bit naked. Um, not as naked as a naked tag hole, but it, it needed a little something. So I do end up with a title and it's a generic title. Um, so it, it's fine. Um, so this layout is a little less about um, the train, even though I'm using train embellishments and such things like that. And it's more about that it's just a photo of Christopher and I. So honestly, you guys, I love scrapbooking photos of us together. Um, they just bring out so much joy. Like it evokes this, just this blessed peaceful, feeling all the love, feeling all the feels, emotion out of my soul. Um, and I just, I love scrapbooking photographs of us. And I don't think I will ever tire of that. Um, I just love this man so much and he loves me so much and um, we'll be married 26 years this September. And sometimes I am just kind of like, really? that long like it's been that long like and and it, it, it's it's not different like when we hold hands it's which we hold hands all the time um but it's still like when we were dating and we and we touched hands for the first time like those that little flutter goes through my heart every single time um I am truly blessed to have him as my husband and I darn well know it, you guys. I, I definitely, definitely know it. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in some more coppery bits, and I'm going to do that with my brads. Um, and I'm going to put the brads through the, the doubled up flowers. Now, if you'll remember from other layouts, these are Prima flowers over top of American Crafts felt flowers. So I got these American Craft felt flowers back when American Crafts really started putting out um, product, right? Like they had, um, they had like these plastic jars almost of product and they were like leatherette shapes and flowers and they had plastic flowers and, and you know, they just had so much that was coming at you. And I was like, Ooh, American Crafts, this is, a, I love this company. This is great. Like, because, you know, making memories was kind of, was kind of, um, fizzling out I feel like or or maybe making memories was fizzling out at the scrapbook stores that I shopped at I just remember these making memories things 
um, when I was on a retreat and I can't remember if it was the Missouri or, um, where else did we go? Was it Wisconsin we went to? Minnesota? I can't remember. But I remember being in this, we went to the scrapbooking stores and I remember just kind of being like, oh yeah, American crafts. And now they've kind of taken over everything. And it's just like, I need some more companies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, I am going to put um, bits of washi on the back of my Brad Tines as well. And you guys, I'm sorry, I'm playing with my phone so much during this video. Um, I'm sorry, right? Like, uh, anyway, I am going to put a little arrow sticker here and I'm going to pop up the back end of the arrow with some pop foam uh, because it is going over top of those pearls on my burlap ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and get those there. Um, and then I've got my cluster down here on the right hand side and one of the florals over there as well. So I got three flowers on the page and then I decide that I need to bring in um, some of the blue tickets on this side because I have the blue tickets on the right hand side. So it's not like it has to be an exact match um, from left side to right side, but I kind of want, um, okay, get ready, <laughs> the continuity. <laughs> um, so hopefully I gave you a little bit of break if you are playing the continuity drinking game right now. Um, but I felt like I needed the blue ticket over here. So I'm going to also overlap another ticket there and then... I'm, I'm still thinking that this needs a little bit more, right? Like my background is, you know, shining, shimmering, splendid. It's this beautiful copper color. I've got the copper going on. I'm going to add in some of the gears, some of those metal uh, Tim Holtz gears. I'm going to put one uh, on each decorative bit right here. I am going to use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to stick those down. It will stick down great. Um, once that sucker dries, it's going to be in there for good. Um, you could also use hot glue uh, to hold metal embellishments down as well. Um, that would definitely work. And now I'm going to use these Simple Stories adhesive brads. And you guys know how I feel about adhesive brads. They're not adhesive brads. They're, this is no brad. There are no brad tines, so there are no brads, right? This is not a brad. This is an, an, an enamel embellishment encased in metal that's what it is but you know that's not a cute name right like they're not going to say simple stories enamel embellishments encased in metal so anyway um, I am going to put a couple of those on the layout as well and then finally I am going to add this title on here because I was getting ready to put my splatter down and I was like oh this doesn't have a title so I throw on a title I throw on the word love um, right? Like gag you, I guess. <laughs> if, if my waxing poetic about my husband a few minutes ago didn't gag you, this might, I don't know. Um, but then I'm going to add some more of these same, uh, stickers from the sticker sheet. I'm going to add some hearts in because, you know, I wrote, the, I have the word love down there. It's me and Christopher. We are in love. So hearts totally fit. Now I'm going to add some of that copper Brutus Monroe Chroma Mist, which, oh my heavens, you guys, I'm in love. I am in love with it. So there it is. If you want to get your hands on some Brutus Monroe products, please use my affiliate link down below. I would totally appreciate it. Here are a couple of still photos of up close bits for you. And then that is going to do it for this layout. You guys check out the playlist for 30 days of sketches this time. It is round 14. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.